Hey guys, welcome to AKV and this is Vishnu. So in this illustration, a local government authority owns and operates a leisure center with uh, numerous sporting facilities, residential accommodations, a cafeteria and a sports show. The summer season lasts for 20 weeks, including a peak week of 6 weeks corresponding to the school holidays. The following budget has been prepared for the next summer season. Accommodation 60 single rooms let out on daily basis, 30 double rooms let out on daily basis and 160 percentage of single rooms. Room rate fixed cost 29900 variable cost 4 per single room per day and 6.4 per double room per day. Sports center Residential guest pays 2 per day and casual visitors pay 3 per day for the use of facilities. Fixed cost 15500 Sports shop Estimated contribution 1 per person per day. Fixed cost 8250 8, Cafeteria Estimated contribution 1.5 per person per day, fixed cost 12,750. During the summer season, the center is open for 7 days a week. The following activity levels are anticipated. Double room fully booked for the whole season. A single room fully booked for the peak period but at only 80% in the other periods. Capacity during the rest of the season 30 casual visitors per day on average requirement calculate the change for single and double room charge for charges for single and double room assuring that the authority wishes to make a 10,000 profit on an accommodation basis accommodation Calculate uh, the anticipated total profit for the leisure center as a whole for the season. Requirement 3. Advise the authority whether an offer of 2,50,000 from a private leisure company to open R the center for 5 years in worth while assuming that the authorities uses a 10 percentage cost of capital and operations continue as outlined above right this is the illustration so here we have some of the details such as the a local government authority or a leisure center so this is a leisure center and on this leisure center they have the various cafeteria sports centers accommodation etc and some of the details are given the peak period and non peak period has been given and some details are given and we have they have required us four requirements three requirements so going ahead with the solution first of all statement showing computation for room right so single rooms we have 60 rooms multiplied by six weeks peak period into seven days a week plus uh, 60 single rooms into 14 the unpeak period into seven days a week into 80 percentage will give you 7224 double room 35 into 20 into 7 4900 we have 35 rooms in 20 weeks into 7 days so the total room will be 12,124 now cost of the room variable cost 4 into 7,224 and double room is 6.4 into 4,900 so uh, 4 into 7,224 will give 28,896 plus 31,360 fixed cost 29,900 will give 
the total cost as 90 150 after adding the profit of 10,000 which is mentioned in the question the total cost will be 1 lakh 156 therefore now we can compute the room rate for that we have the total cost and we have the number of room days therefore x is considered as room rate therefore 7224x plus 4900 into 1.6x will give you 1 lakh 115x here 1.6x means 160 percentage of the single room will be charged as the rent of double room so for the to when we take the total 1564x equal to 1,156 therefore x is equal to 1,156 divided by 15,0564 will give 6.64 per room x is equal to 6.64 go ahead if x is equal to 6.64 which means the room rate rent of single room therefore the room rent of double room will be Ten point six three six eight. That is six point six four multiplied by one sixty percentage. Now here statement showing computation of profit in leisure centers. So for that we have particulars and amount. Accommodation profit first as to this ten thousand. Then we have sports center rate that is seven thousand two hundred and twenty four into two. four single rooms and for double rooms 4900 into 2 that is we have two members into 2 rupees for double rooms if it is occupied there will be two person and we have 30 casual persons per day therefore 30 into 20 weeks into 7 days into 3 rupees will give you 12,600 then fixed cost 15,500 therefore when deducting the fixed cost you will get the profit of rupees 31,148 there is no variable cost for sports center and sports shop and cafeteria okay. so computation of cost or net income of sports center will be single room 7224 into 1 which means 7224 and the double room 4900 into 2 members into 2 into 1 rupees will give you 9800 and for other members will be 30 multiplied by 20 weeks into 7 days into 1 will give you 4200 less fixed cost 8250 will give you net income of 12,974 going ahead with cafeteria single room 7,224 multiplied by 1.5 will give you 10,836 and for double room, double room 4,900 into 2% into 1.5 it will give you 14,700 and for other person who visits the delicious center the cost of cafeteria will be 30 person per day into 20 weeks and if for into 7 days per week into 1.5 you will give you 6300 less fixed cost 12700 will give you the net income of 19086 and when we take the total of the net income we will get 73208 now the computation of cash inflow you see the present value so the present value of 10 percentage for 5 years is 3.79 therefore the present value we receive in 5 years will be 7208 which is the income for single year multiplied by 3.79 will give you 277458 
therefore as present value of profit for 5 years will be 277500 which is more than the lease rent of 250000 therefore it is not worthwhile to give the lease sender for lease so guys i hope you got clear clarification regarding this illustration if you find this video helpful please subscribe